Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. We're looking in on our home of economy camera. This is Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Horizontal flakes flying. The wind is going to increase, folks, as we go into the late night hours. Snow is expanding to the Southern Valley, as expected. A little later than anticipated. Last night, we said around the 6 o'clock hour. It looks closer to 7 to 8 before it makes its way into the FM area. But it's already at Lake Itasca. Look at that. That's what's going on right now from the DOT camera. War Road, Highway 11, horizontal flakes, uh, really reducing some visibilities there and we know that we have some accumulation already on grassy areas and road surfaces. When we look at the latest radar, we see the dark blues indicating some heavier bands of snow from Duluth and points north into the arrowhead of Minnesota. We see some dark blues from Minot into Ellendale and through Grand Forks. But look at the very, very light blues here. This is where we know it's snowing hard. We just looked at the pictures. There's a lot of wind. There's flakes. How come the radar shows light snow? Well, radars point up at an angle. The farther you get away from the radar site in Duluth and Mayville, this area here is over 150 miles from the radar sites. Folks, the radar is shooting right over the top of those shallow snow-making clouds out there. So you can be getting snow on your Valley News Live radar, and, well, the radar doesn't show much of anything at all. And that's why. Now let's take a look at what's going on. This thing swirling around, cold air wrapping around the system. It's cold enough for snow in the central Dakotas aloft above the ground. We also have a batch of cold air here in southern Canada, but it's been remaining warmer in the Red River Valley. That transition has happened in Grand Forks as we look there, but still a little bit of rain shower activity. Probably not too long here before things do transition in the FM area within the next hour or so, where we have a winter weather advisory for all counties in blue. A warning for enhanced snowfall potential here in the areas shaded in red. Blizzard warning in the pink area, northeast South Dakota and west central most Minnesota. They're in portions of Traverse County and Big Stone counties. Oh, a lot to talk about. Let's get to the temperatures. Here's the 32 degree line, all important, and it's below freezing in the Devil's Lake Basin, thus the snow there. Holding on to 34 at the surface in Fergus Falls and Fargo. It's freezing in Thief River. It's freezing in Bemidji. And as we uh, take a look at your hour by hour forecast, spot on here. At the 7 o'clock hour, we'll see that transition to snow. The gustiest of the north winds are down here in the Sisseton Hills and through the James River Valley. As we advance this toward the 10 o'clock hour, we're going to see the snow continue to expand southward. Notice that the heaviest bands in the dark blue and purple shades here will be in central and eastern Minnesota. But we get healthy snow driven by wind that will accumulate in the Red River Valley and western Minnesota all night. So the most difficult travel conditions are upon us now and through the overnight daybreak. We'll see temperatures in the 20s, wind chills near 10 degrees. Bundle up those bus riders first thing in the morning and there will be travel impacts. So make sure you tune into the valley today first thing in the morning for any potential delays or even cancellations or closings based on the weather. Snow will continue in central Minnesota the longest and in fact you have a chance at seeing some flakes flying on again off again and snow shower form throughout the day. Gusty winds from the north all day will make it very wind chilly and the roads will be slippery and icing up if they're wet thanks to the new precipitation. How much? Well, again, we'll review it. The heaviest up north, north central Minnesota, down into Lakes Country, we could see a batch of three plus inches of snow as high as eight. Bemidji and north towards Bedette, we could see a couple areas with 10 plus inches of snow. Notice northeast North Dakota, including very close to Grand Forks, you'll be in that three to eight inch total. Here's a snapshot of your temperatures at four on your way home from work on your Friday night and school. It'll be wind chilly with wind chills in the nighttime hours up north in the single digits. That's hat and gloves material there for sure. Sweater weather, as we like to say. Taking a look at your forecast for Saturday. We get a break Friday night and into Saturday morning, but it'll be breezy, cool, and a clipper moves through with another two to four inches of snow for a swath of the valley. More on that later tonight. Much quieter next week, and I'm sure you're happy to hear Hutch quiet down. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> okay, can't argue with that. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Thanks, Hutch. Later.